This video is going to be a bit of a follow-up to one that I did a few days ago, at least at the time that this video goes live, on the Avermedia Live Gamer Ultra 2.1. This is a one of the very first HDMI 2.1 consumer-grade capture cards. It's an external capture card. And by the time you're watching this video, it'll either be opened up for pre-order or it'll be just a few hours away from pre-order time. Uh, and it'll start shipping right around September 18th. Now, I had some questions that weren't answered on the website, and so I took it to their official Discord, and one of their product engineers actually took a lot of the common questions that were coming through and spent time to answer them. As such, they actually updated their website with some clarity around Mac support, and you'll see that right here where it indicates that Mac support is coming soon, in December of 2023, so a few months after the actual release of this device. But if we take a look at the screen grab of some of the more common questions that were answered, this is straight from the Discord, uh, let's go ahead and go through this just because you might be wondering uh, and they've taken the time to answer these. So lower resolutions other than 4K 144, such as 4K 120, uh, will those be supported? And the answer is yes. You can see all of the supported pass-through resolutions, recording resolutions, as well as just supported resolutions here. Uh, I do want to kind of expand upon the Mac support piece because while their website says available in December 2023, their response on Discord was, our plan is to have Mac support available in December 2023. So to me, that means, you know, pending any issues or whatnot, it could get delayed. Hopefully not. But right now, that's their plan, December 2023. And I would assume that means a firmware update. So uh, this device just simply won't be recognized by a Mac until December at the earliest. Uh, this one's kind of interesting. Uh, OBS and Rec Central. So this device, the GC553G2, it's fully compatible with OBS at launch, but Avermedia's own Rec Central won't be supported until the first half of 2024. 1440p 240 hertz resolution will be available, but not until October in a firmware update. And then there's some questions around recording of FHD 1080 120, 144 FPS with uh, this device. And the answer is yes, it can record in 4K 60. It can also do 1440, 144, or 1080 at 240. Uh, and again, those pre-orders are just about ready to open up now. So that's it. I just wanted to do a follow-up video because I know there were some unanswered questions when I first made that first one, uh, and they were answered on Discord, but they aren't fully available on the website just yet. So getting it out there for any of those uh, a view that might be interested. Um, you know, my stance on HDMI 2.1 capture cards is uh, a wait and see approach. Uh, I certainly have a PS5 and Xbox Series X, so I'm running HDMI 2.1 to 4K monitors. Not all games support that right now. So it's really when I go into, let's say, things like uh, Crucible on Destiny 2, that's when it kicks in and stuff like that. And if I want to do capture, it's a minor inconvenience. I have to turn the ability to run in 120 off in order to do capture, uh, but it's not really a deal breaker. I don't think it's worth going out and picking up another card at this point to do that type of uh, you know, thing in my workflow. Today, I'm completely happy using my Rode Streamer X with my Mac, uh, and then I also... Uh, in conjunction for game capture, have an Atomos Ninja 5 Plus, uh, which is phenomenal for capture. I mean, that's not the main purpose of an Atomos is game capture. It's for other things, but it actually does game capture really well. So uh, let me know in the comments down below if you're going to be picking up one of these. If you have a capture card, what your workflow looks like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.